Hi, I'm Inga. I'm the Migration Coordinator at LCC. We excited you to welcome to Lithuania. In this video, I will provide some information for you about Visa D and Temporary Resident Permit card. So for European students to come to Lithuania, the process is very simple. You are arriving here with the European card and you have to apply for Temporary Resident card here in Lithuania and the card can be issued for the whole four years. Non-European students have to arrive with Visa D and the process is uh, to get it is uh, first of all you have to receive a form from LCC fill it in and send it back to us with the copy of your passport um, the second thing then you will receive the invitation number and the insurance from LCC you will be able to go uh, to the embassy obviously you have to make an appointment before you are going there and after all you will receive visa D and uh, uh, we'll ask you just to send a copy of it so I will start with the things what migration coordinator does and does not do at LCC for the students. Migration coordinator does answering questions about Visa D and TIP card, uh, which is like temporary residence permit, uh, guiding students through the um, for the process of applications, providing documents which are required from LCC. Here are the things what migration coordinator does not do for students. So not issuing visas or TIP cards have any impact on decisions made by migration department, come up with the migration regulations or rules confirming approvals of documents. So what Lithuanian National Visa D allows you to do, it allows you to study and stay legally in Lithuania, allows you to transit from National Visa D to TRP, allows you to travel in Schengen zone countries uh, without additional visa and allows you to travel 90 days in six months. And what National Visa D doesn't allow you to do, it doesn't allow to work in Lithuania and also doesn't allow students uh, legally work or study in other Schengen zone countries. If you travel with National Visa D, Schengen zone countries, um, please remember to check every country as not all um, of the Schengen zone countries are the same as European Union countries. Also, if you travel, please make sure that you have your international passport valid. Uh, please make sure that your visa or TRP is also valid. And uh, please respect migration or border uh, control officers. Uh, the consequences of the violation while you are traveling are um, you can be banned for entering all Schengen zone countries for up to five years. If you would be fined, then the fine has to be paid in the country uh, of the violation and um, you wouldn't be able to complete education at LCC. So what is a TRP card? A TRP card is a permanent, uh, is a temporary uh, resident permit card, is a document that allows you to reside and study in Lithuania. It also allows you to depart from and to Lithuania during the period of its validity. Um, TRP also is like a Schengen visa, allows you to travel in other Schengen zone countries also for 90 days in 6 months time. Uh, TRP card allows working part time in Lithuania which is 20 hours a week. Uh, documents for TRP um, has to be submitted only in Klaipeda's migration office um, here in Lithuania and would cost you 120 euros and to get the decision takes about three months. TRP card can be uh, issued for maximum of two years. Insurance, uh, which is um, um, also compulsory for TRP, would cost you 120 euros for two years. So, and now a little bit about uh, communication between migration coordinator and students. So, uh, what you can expect from me as migration coordinator, uh, you will get all information updates through LCC emails. So that's why we expect from you um, reading and responding to emails immediately, following our guidelines carefully. Um, please do not compare application process with other students as all of your uh, prehistory and all of your like um, situations are different. So what happens if you get dismissed from LCC or take academic leave? So your visa uh, or TRP card will be cancelled and you will, you will have to leave Lithuania in seven days. Obviously, you would be informed uh, about that. So hope I explained um, more about those migration questions, but um, if you will have like more of them, please do not hesitate to contact me and I will help you. So thank you.